So in this problem, we're given an electric field and a magnetic field. So we have an electric field and a magnetic field, and both of these fields are perpendicular to each other. And then we have a charged particle that's moving with speed v, and then the velocity of this particle is also perpendicular to the electric field and the magnetic field. So now we need to find v in terms of e and b. So first of all, we can notice that no matter how the particle is charged, whether it's positively charged or negatively charged, both the electric forces and the magnetic forces are going to act against each other. So if it's positively charged, the electric force is going to pull it upwards, and if you apply the right-hand rule, you'll see that the magnetic force is going to push the charged particle downwards. And if the particle is negatively charged, it's just gonna, both the forces are just gonna flip the directions, so they're just gonna cancel each other out again. So in our case, the forces do balance each other out, and given that, we need to find V. So that means the electric force, Q times E, is actually equal to the magnetic force, so Q times V times B times sine theta. So notice that we're dealing with scalars here. So sine theta is going to be the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. And then in this case, we're given that it's 90 degrees, so it's sine pi over 2, which is equal to 1, so essentially we can ignore this. So the Q, the charge, they cancel each other out. So in the end, we know that the velocity is equal to E divided by B. So this is the answer to part A. So for part B, the electric field gets taken away, and then it results in, electric, uh, in circular motion because of the uh, magnetic force. And then given that the radius of curvature is R, we need to find the charge to mass ratio. So in order to find the charge to mass ratio, we can consider the centripetal force which is by definition mb squared divided by r, has to be equal to the magnetic force because it's the magnetic force that's providing the circular, the, the centric pedal force. So the v's, they cancel out. So we need to find the charge to mass ratio, so q divided by m. So on the other side, we have v divided by b divided by r. And then in the previous section, we found that v is equal to e divided by b. So we just switch that in. So we see that our answer is equal to e divided by b squared r. So this is the charge to mass ratio.